In other news, secret FBI files were released today showing the Bureau wiretapped the headquarters of the National Lawyers Guild. There's also evidence that FBI agents broke into offices of Guild members. The Lawyers Guild, which was founded to promote civil liberties, has filed a I thought that these people must do some really interesting work to be monitored by the government, and that is actually something that I'm looking forward to doing, is to, is to be on a side where where you're not afraid. You're not afraid to speak your mind. You're not afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Working against the grain, providing the kind of legal assistance, but also moral support for people that were trying to change the world. Mandela knows who the Guild is. It means a lot to him. The Guild lawyers are the lawyers you could always count on. Uh, any African-American in this country has to be able to say that because there have been too many instances where police have messed with us and it's only been lawyers from the Guild that have been the ones we've turned to. And the Guild is a place that you could find a group of lawyers who understood the struggle against apartheid. And they immediately understood the importance of stopping U.S. bank loans to South Africa. They have an international sense, and for me, that's very important. In February 2004, there was another regime change that occurred in this country of Haiti. And what was so problematic about the regime change was that nobody spoke about it. Nobody could bear witness about what was going on. And it was the guild that stood at the forefront with only a couple of organizations. Not only did the Guild um, report on what was occurring in Haiti, it sent delegations of lawyers and law students, young people, to Haiti to bear witness firsthand about the human rights atrocities that was occurring after the removal of Aristide. It was National Lawyers Guild attorneys that spoke to me and gave me that vision and that passion to go out and do what was in my heart and, and to fight for social change. When the United People of Color Caucus was formed, one of the major discussions around that was whether a new organization needed to be formed or whether the Guild and its history and its experience created the kind of infrastructure that we could work within to uh, do the kind of work that we envisioned. In some ways, it's similar to what we went through when we first got involved in the Guild. People of my generation, the 60s generation, the young people come along, and here's an established organization with an established leadership used to doing things its own way. When we started Tupac, it was because we felt like we, uh, there, was, there were new people, there was new energy, and it, complemented the guild and there's been a little tension from time to time that we've had to had to resolve we've had to learn our generation has had to learn to be flexible to a new generation of young people coming with new ideas the guild has been on the scene for years and a lot of the activists and lawyers they're getting old i'm inspired by by the work and the effort that the guild has has done to to reach out to people of color, to students of color, to young people, and give them a voice and give them an opportunity to, put, to participate in the process for our social, social change. There is always the need to respect the generations that have come before and laid the groundwork, but there also has to be this recognition of the folks who are coming up and to bring these folks with us. Mm -hmm.